In this video, I will show how to get query string of a URL in PHP and JavaScript. So, for example, we have one URL here, test one the PHP. We have query string here, name equal Jensen, and another query is the name one equal Andy. So, to get the query string of a URL in PHP, we use the get method dollar underscore get. Get first one name we can get this one the first parameter here you will get a name one we can get another parameter here for javascript we use document dot location to search the substring let's look at the example in detail so for example we have php here so we have php test one php we use the dollar and dollar underscore get method the name. This name, this is the query string where I'm test the PHP name. The first query is name equal Jensen, name one equal Andy here. So we can get we will get, get query first string here. Name. We can get this one. I use the HTML special characters to avoid the special characters to display. I use the head one to display better. Show better. So let's run this code. We expect this one will return Jensen the first query here. First query. Let's look at this code here. You can see here test one the PHP name equal Jensen the name one Jen ND here. So we can get this one. So we return here. So for the second one for HTML, let's look at HTML for the JavaScript. So we use the test tool for example the HTML here. We have a uh, name Jensen, name one and here. So we use the for example first queue document the location the search the subscription. If we use the zero this one will get all the return all the queries here, include the question mark here. Here. But if we list the substring is is use parameter one document dot location dot search the substring one list one then we'll return without question mark but all the substring here. So you if we use if we want to separate for example the first sub first query and second query separate separate it. We can use the JavaScript split function, split and list and then we will split this array, Q1 array between first string and second string. So let's run this code. So let's go to this one. So you see here, it test to the HTML name equal change and name one equal here. So we return first one, we get substring is the parameter is a zero. We get you include question mark everything here. If we the document, if we use this one, document the location the search substring one, then we expect no question mark here. And this one I use the here to use the JavaScript split function to split all the substrings and write the first array, uh, first element of the array. So we can see here this release here. So in summary, if we in the JavaScript we use the document dot location dot search the substring to get a query string in JavaScript. For the PHP, we use the get method, dollar underscore get method to get a parameter of the query string, for example, this one and this one. It depends on what you want to get, want to get array. Thanks for your watching.